Hi there guys, it's Pip here from pipweekly.com and today I want to talk to you about self-belief. Um, now, self-belief I always used to think came from within, it's like oh I can do anything that I can choose to believe in. Um, but I think there might be another aspect to it and I just want to put this to you guys as a concept really. If you choose something that is not in line with who you are and which does not serve you and which is not in the direction you are meant to go in, I believe that at some point your self-confidence, your self-esteem, your desire to go in that direction will disappear. I don't think it's actually something that you get to choose. Now self-belief can come through practice and um, meditation affirmations and you know just really having a clear idea of who you are and where you're meant to go but if your goal is sketchy or you think you want it um, or you should want it then I don't think that it's necessarily going to come to you because you've tried to jump ahead of the queue and you've tried to create something for you that is actually not meant to be for you. Um, it's like if Mozart decided that he was going to be a painter, well he's not designed to be a painter, he was designed to be a musician and um, had he tried to pursue being a painter he may have succeeded but that's what he was born to be, he was born to be a musician so I don't think that he would have necessarily found the road very easy even if he was absolutely 100 convinced in his mind that that's, you know, he wanted to be an artist and he was going to be an artist and that was it, you know, there was no other option for him. He had to discover who he was first. Um, now, how do we get to that point? How do we get to the point of discovering who we are? It's a long road. Um, I was very lucky uh, when I was about 23, um, 22, 23, I moved away from my family home and I moved to uh, Wales with my brother, uh, Wales in the UK, for those of you who are, are not in the UK. Um, so I was 100 miles away from my family home and I hadn't really had much practice at looking after myself solely before. Um, obviously I could cook and things like that but I always had family members around me so we was kind of shared and um, my mum and dad would pay the bills, I'd pay my rent to my mum and she would sort it all out um, you know and that sort of thing so I was quite lucky because I discovered motivational speakers um, now if you've never ever heard of a motivational speaker, I, one I'm not surprised um, basically they are people who want to get other people to that point in time where they go I know who I am and I know what I'm doing and this just feels so right it's easy it's effortless it's within me rather than living a life where they're not in tune they're not in alignment with who they are meant to be everything's a struggle um, things keep going wrong, certain patterns keep showing up in their lives and life is just not generally feeling great. Um, so these people are pretty amazing. I was quite lucky I came across a guy called Les Brown, L-E-S Brown. Um, he's in his 70s now. Um, but he could still deliver a pretty profound speech, let's put it that way. Um, and the more I looked, the more there were. There's Ogmandina, there's Deepak Chopra, C-H-O, RPA, I think, oh, sorry, PRA, and um, there is Jim Rohn, R O H N, um, Dennis Waitley, um, Earl Nightingale, uh, The Strangest Secret. If, listen, guys, if you have not seen The Strangest Secrets on YouTube by Earl Nightingale, you need to look at it. It's just half an hour long, but it is incredible it will really 
will let you know some truths about life. Um, and I now like to listen to it and re-listen to it because it keeps me on the path where I'm like, right, I've got to, I've got to do this, and I'd, I'd forgot since last time I listened to it. Um, because it's all to do with how powerful the mind really is, and he explains it just so well. It's it's really phenomenal. Um, and there's there's countless others. Um, you know, Tony Robbins, major giant in this industry. Um, you know, loads and loads of people. So I think when you discover these people and you you know I realised very very quickly that I had never discovered who I was I'd been in education from the age of 4 to the age of 18 and yet I didn't know anything about me I'd not learned a single thing about myself um, I'm not saying I received the wrong type of education I'm saying that there were things missing off the agenda that should have been there personal development being the number one subject that should have been on there um, because we're all given this idea that at school, particularly nowadays, that you have to get the best grades and then you have to go to university and then you have to get the best job and then you have to work your way out and then you have to retire and then you have to go on skiing holidays and then and then you have to look after the grandkids and then that's it. Let me tell you something, when you're sitting in a class of 30 people, you have got 30 different people with 30 different backgrounds, 30 different ways of being brought up. Do you think they're going to all have the same goal? Do you think that they're all meant to go in that direction? Really? You know? One size does not fit all, as they say. So, self-belief is, is massively linked to personal development. You've got to find out who you are. Read. Um, I love to listen to things on YouTube. I like to download things onto my MP3 on YouTube. I can listen to them at work, in the car. I like to listen in the morning. Um, listen to meditations for you those of you who have never tried meditations when I was first told to try meditations I was like no in hell that's what crazy people do you know that's what hippies do that's what mad people do who believe in weird stuff um, but you know what I, I give it a go and I do this uh, meditation in the morning which is 10 minutes long I used to think they'd last for hours just 10 minutes dead easy and it's guy by a guy called Jonathan Lehman, L E H M A W N. Um, he's a French guy, but his 10 minute morning meditation is brilliant, it's in English. Um, so that's that's fabulous. And, the, and I was on a call last night with somebody, and they said that they can go into the meditation deeper, and it's it is affecting them psychologically because they feel different inside but they could not have achieved that when they first started meditating so for those of you who have not tried it give it a go not it's like cups of tea you know one one tea bag type you might not like whereas another one is perfect for you so there's not one again one size fits all it doesn't work like that um, but give it a go um, and definitely you've got to read I mean I'm, I'm so bad for not reading but um, again YouTube videos, there's just so many YouTube videos, I mean this is free education, you know, the best type of education, there is TEDx talks online, uh, there can be, you know, videos from, you know, a few minutes to several hours on depending on what you're looking for, uh, you don't have to be there, you know, listening for hours and hours and hours, a few minutes a day would be fabulous, um, get yourself around people this is what I would advise you to do because I just find Les Brown advised it and I would advise it too and it takes, uh, you have to do it more than once because it's not easy to see um, but he said to look at your relationships and try and figure out ask yourself this question what am I becoming because of this relationship? is it helping me to grow spiritually and emotionally and mentally? is it challenging me? Is it, am I becoming a better person because of this relationship? Because if you want to discover your goal, it is easy to get wiped out by one negative comment. Easy. Really easy. And, you know, there are people out there who take who they are to the grave with them. Because one person, once upon a time, many, many years ago, said something negative to them. And that made them believe, for whatever reason, that they 
couldn't be or couldn't discover or should stop exactly where they are because that's all that was possible for them and that's not true because there is this thing called evolution and, and it's not just over hundreds and thousands of years it's actually happening right now it's, it, it, you know, it's evolution of the mind, it's evolution of who you are as you grow, as you expand, you will naturally become a different person because of your experiences you're evolving every day whether you like it or not whether you notice it or not so uh, make sure you're evolving in the right direction you know, towards something that is going to serve you and when you when you do that, that's where self-belief will come so that's all from me today um, I hope again you enjoyed this video I hope it gave you something to think about um, I hope you will go away and really, really do this exercise that actually physically sit down with a piece of paper write down the five closest people that you communicate with and write down what is happening to you what, first of all what they are like there are three main attributes you would use to describe that person you don't have to show it to anybody um, and then think about what might be happening to you because of that because you will absorb their attitude over time you, you will do it, it's inevitable and birds of a feather flock together so uh, yeah, just do the exercise, comment below um, I would really really be interested to hear what you have to say um, of course I'm there on pickweekly.com loads of blogs on there to help you be, be your best self and um, obviously you can reach out to me there there's a contact page if you want me to do um, you know, a blog or a video on, on certain, something in particular um, and you know, we're always on Facebook as well, pipweekly.com again, and that's probably the best place to be. We'll put, um, or I try and put something on there pretty much every day, and whether it's something fun, something humorous, something to get you thinking, even just a beautiful picture. Uh, and it's where I let you all, guys all know about the um, the releases. You know, try and do a YouTube video every week, I'll put it, the notice on there. Try and do a blog every week, I'll put the notice on there. So. Uh, Try and if you get onto that, you'll be kept up to date, no problem. So, um, feel free to come on board. It will be again really interesting to hear what you have to say. And until next time, you take care. Bye now.